Level and Clearance Adjustment Steps for Conical Twin Screws. Tools to be used: Long Crowbar, Long Screwdriver or Small Crowbar, Dial Gauge, Steel Knife Ruler, Gasket, Hex Wrench, Dial Caliper, Socket Spanner, Single Head Spanner, Flashlight. The first step: Level Adjustment of the Conical Twin Screw. One. Install the big connect nut of the barrel and the distribution box on the barrel screw. The steel stem code at the end of the screw is symmetrical. Use the crane to put the barrel and screw in place. Install it on the front and rear screw support base. Tighten the adjusting screw. Two, rotate the barrel by crane to the screw connecting shaft in a straight line with the distribution box output shaft. Confirm that the spline mark position of the screw tail is aligned with the distribution box output shaft. Rake its keyway position through the barrel head support base rotation device. Make the screw and distribution box output shaft butt close. Lock the big nut. Three, prepare steel knife ruler and flashlight. Put knife ruler on screw and distribution box output shaft. Check through 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees to see whether the same level. By adjusting the screw support base, ensure that the barrel screw level with the distribution box output shaft. After completion, the screw is separated from the output shaft of the distribution box by rotating the rotating device supporting the base of the barrel head. And then the barrel is moved out by crane. Four, cover the sliding sleeve to the output shaft of the distribution box, and cover the tail of the barrel screw with a backflow stopper and two copper rings. Then rotate the barrel in place and close, but the screw and the screw sliding sleeve. Ensure that the sliding sleeve teeth and the tail keyway of the screw should be consistent. If not. Can manually rotate the output shaft of the motor to adjust the sliding sleeve to achieve sliding sleeve and screw back and forth smoothly. Lock the big nut. To this point, the screw level adjustment is completed. The second step: the clearance adjustment of the conical twin screw. One: slide the screw sleeve onto the screw. Install the dial gauge on the head of the screw. And clear zero the dial gauge. Two, pull the screw back to the bottom with a long crowbar, and observe the dial gauge to find the back size. Usually, the screw retreat clearance is determined according to the combination of PVC formula. We generally suggest that the retreat clearance range is between 12 to 13 millimeters. In case of special circumstances, it can be adjusted according to the actual operation on site. Three, this step is particularly important. For details, see case analysis. Use long screwdriver or small crowbar to push the screw thread of both A and B screws successfully until they cannot move. Observe the dial gauge data and record them respectively. It is recommended to test the backward distance twice for each measurement. Based on the recommended backward clearance of 30 millimeters, the distance required to adjust the screw thread of A and B was calculated according to the measurement results of screw A and B, respectively. Four, loosen the big nut, remove the barrel again, separate the tail of the screw. And adjust the tail gasket according to the calculation results of the measurement of the screw thread clearance. Increase or reduce the gasket, or directly remove the thick cushion block of the screw tail to the required thickness by lathe process. After installation, the clearance of a B screw was repeatedly measured and adjusted until appropriate. The clearance difference between the two screws was less than 0.1 millimeter. Five. After the clearance adjust finish, remove the barrel again. Install the anti-lock bushing on the tail of screw and lock with lag spike. 
Rotate the barrel in place and close. Slide in the screw sleeve and lock it with the hook. 6. Fix and lock the location hole on the big nut with screws. 7. Power on. Run the screw at low speed. Observe through the feeding device outlet. Ensure the screw rotation direction is correct and check whether there is abnormal sound. At this point, the whole screw level and clearance adjustment is completed.